Hi, welcome to Flugatronic. Up today, we're going to take a look at a new whistle I've got in. This is a Carbony Low E, and this has some uh, very unique features. One feature that you don't find in many whistles, and one that I've not seen anywhere else. Uh, so before we get into that, let's just take a listen. Okay, let's uh, talk about the unique features of this whistle. Um, first off, it has two thumb holes on the back, and my other Carbony also has that. A few other makers do that, but not too many. What that lets you do is get the, what I would call E flat, because I think of my whistles in terms of a C whistle, but that minor third is the bottom. So that minor third that you would ordinarily have to get by half holing. Which can be done uh, also, but uh, having the thumb hole there just makes it a little more stable and easier to get. And then the upper hole gets you the flatted seventh which would be C natural on a D whistle or B flat on a C whistle. And again, you can get that note in other ways. You can, of course, do the uh, two finger or you can half hole. So what you choose just depends on the song or your mood for the day, but it just gives you different options. Now, the one thing that is very unique to Carbony, uh, as far as whistles go, is the use of chimneys. And it's not gonna, it's probably not gonna show on the, uh, um, on the camera here, but in the bottom hole, the fourth hole and the sixth hole, Inside the bore, uh, he's inserted what's called a chimney, and maybe the Carbony website will go into that in more detail. But essentially what it is, it's a, it's a little slanted piece of the carbon fiber that brings the hole, the outside of the hole, to a different place. And what that lets you do is get a much closer, tighter finger spacing on the top and the bottom. So just for comparison, my other carbony. This is an A flat, and you can see the upper hand spacing is almost identical. If I line up the lower holes, lower hand is just barely wider on, on the low E. Now, of course, the A does not have any chimneys, it's just standard A flat, but the E with the chimneys really. Um, really improves the spacing, and that's what I wanted. So, also by way of comparison, this is a uh, Nick Metcalf PVC Low E, and here if I line up, see the top hand is not all that bad, but definitely lower on uh, on the green one, and. You can see the bottom hand is quite a bit, quite a bit longer. Um, so I can play this uh, Carbony without, without Piper's grip at all, just normal whistle grip. This is my other low E. This is a um, wooden whistle from Pavel Mira Harmony Flute. There we go. Line up the top, you can see definitely wider. Interestingly, the bottom of the wooden flute is not all that wider. And that kind of uh, goes along with my, my experience. I can play this one with, without, uh, 
without Piper's grip either. The the Metcalf one, I really don't feel comfortable like that. I, mean, I, I don't usually like Piper's grip, and I'm not all that good at it. So usually when I play this one, I use the pinky hole to, to reach this guy. But in preparing for this video, I was thinking maybe I would uh, sell one of these, but I kind of rediscovered some differences and things I like, um, even with the wider spacing. I, I like the tone of this one still. So there's not a lot of chiff on that one. The uh, Carboni gives you a little bit different tone. It's uh, kind of huskier. A little bit windier, a little bit huskier, but uh, uh, still what I would call a full tone and, and definitely you can push the bottom end pretty good. So that's not going to break on you. Okay, well, let's, um, let's just do a uh, couple of tunes on this just to get a, a feel for a little bit more of the range on it. Flubbed a couple of notes, but I uh, hope you could see me uh, exaggerating the use of that top hole there. Okay, that's enough for today. Well, we'll come back again with a little longer playing sample against some of the others. But yeah, very pleased. So um, if you have smaller hands like I do or arthritis or things kind of creeping in, uh, this series would be well worth looking into. I think he does the chimneys up to uh, a low F, I think. Um, and well, this might tempt me to go down uh, to maybe a D at some point, but for now, very pleased with the low E, and uh, thanks again to Rob, and we'll catch you next time.